so being in Tennessee around my father's people I don't really know them like that but today is very much giving inner child inner teen I know you all didn't really get a lot of information on this vlog what am I doing here I'm here for my grandmother's birthday she does not know that I'm here so today is going to be a very important day because I don't know a lot of my father's side of the family. I literally know my dad, my sister, and I don't believe she's gonna be here. I was trying to do a cute confessional for the vlog, but Safi, Miss Ma'am thought it was okay to just be doing whatever. So, yeah, long story short, I am basically in Tennessee. I have not seen this side of the family. So, if y'all have paid attention to my collective love pool on Instagram, the most recent one that y'all know, something that came up was the Six of Baskets card, right? So, when we think of Six of Baskets, that's your inner child. But when you think of inner child, that doesn't always mean just six-year-old version of you, seven-year-old, eight-year-old version of yourself. It can also mean, you know, the inner teen work. So this is definitely feeling like a lot of my teenage years are coming up, but now I'm truly, for one, I give myself grace because me and my father have not always had the best relationship transparency moment i am what you would call <laughs> hey baby i am what you would call a love child in that i was created outside of marriage let alone somebody being in a marriage and then had me outside of that marriage so a lot of things a lot of mess but now i have truly learned to just no longer hold on to that anger no longer hold on to that hurt and honestly how i see it how i view it now that i have my own child for me it's like my father's connection for me it's like since i have my own child honestly how i see me and my father's connection is him and my daughter <laughs> you know and it's kind of hard to explain it like that but that's just how I best see it. You know, I feel like there can't be there can't be ways where we take a time machine, right? I wish I had a time machine head ass. Like we can't go back in time to fix Okay, you're done. We can't go back in time to fix those aspects and those parts of ourselves. We just have to now fulfill those voids with love. So this trip is really giving a lot of heart chakra healing. It's giving a lot of inner teamwork. It's giving a lot of strength, strength to endure. I honestly, as long as she's happy, I'm good. Like, I didn't want to rob her of a relationship with her grandfather because of something that I went through, because of something that I was challenged with. What kind of person would I be to separate that relationship, that bond, that grandfather type of love that I grew up with and I want her to have it as well so for me it's like me and my dad are going to heal through this little one this little blessing so I'm gonna get off of here because she is super hyper right now. and I'm gonna try to put her to sleep because I feel like she's sleeping so Like I kind of explained before, 
I am on the way or well, getting ready to be on the way to my grandma on my dad's side birthday party. She does not know that I'm here. So I'm super excited. I thought I would do a little bit of makeup. I'm really excited to meet everybody and to just learn new faces. I'm very much so a people person. Like I love meeting people, learning about my family. So yeah, I'm super excited. Daffy is asleep, honey. This is one of my first trips taking Safi by myself on a plane. We had two flights. Then we also had to get up our bags. <clears throat> then we also had to get all of our bags, all of our things. And honestly, y'all, I was thinking so much about like the diaper bag and all of that stuff that I literally, quite literally forgot car seat so my dad had to buy a car seat for her to make sure that you know she would be safe while we're driving i did not know that this dinner party was going to be like super super fancy i honestly thought it was going to be like a cookout but that's what i get for assuming i definitely should have called my dad and asked him but he stopped and got me this dress i'm gonna show y'all it's just like a quick little throw on dress i was mad i didn't really have enough time to like actually look i was like you know what whatever i put on is gonna be good as long as i'm comfortable as long as i feel good bada bing bada boom the girls said they wanted longer videos, so y'all, longer videos are here. Let me know how y'all feel about this video. I used to vlog a lot in my past version of myself, but honestly, I started thinking, and I don't mind going back to vlogs, honestly. Um, especially how I've been manifesting things, how I've been putting things into play, how God has been putting things into play. It is a lot of things that are about to be unfolding, so I might as well document the ride. Show y'all behind the scenes what's going on with my life. Being more transparent and just opening space for vulnerability, especially when we talk about the heart space. There's so many things that are happening that are really calling us to get grounded within ourselves to really take time to just breathe, to really just take shit easy. I was telling one of my homegirls that shit today, like we be so hard on ourselves as content creators, artists, you know, whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that you're putting forth. And sometimes you really have to give yourself grace. Like beating yourself up is not the answer. Okay, ask me how I know that shit does not work. You have to take this shit one step at a time, bro. One step at a time. I love how I don't have to do too much with my face and it just comes out so nice. By the way, y'all, I'm definitely looking forward to doing a video. I know I keep saying it, people keep reminding me, but I definitely need to make a video about spiritual well-being in the club. Like, your girl has definitely been Taking a little break from the club. Um, dancing is truly something that I love to do, but it's so different when you talk about the difference of a pole showcase and the difference of stripping. There's so many differences. And honestly, I just, I live for a showcase. Like showcases have my heart these days. What Drake say? Take me out the club. Take me out the trap. Take me off the market, take me off the, okay? Because baby, I'm tired. Yeah. 